super excited, guys. Okay. Welcome. We are, This is another episode of Horrible Decisions. As, as you guys hear, we have two fabulous guests. We'll go ahead We're and introduce excited. ourselves first. This is your girl, Mandy B, a.k.a. Mandizzle, a.k.a. Booty Bandit, a.k.a. That Bitch. And I'm sitting <laughs> next to my wonderful co-host. I'm Wheezy, and we have some ladies. By the way, I want to give a little intro to this. So we have a lot of people that write us. A ton. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Yeah. Just, I'm going I'm to be honest. Okay. People write us all the time. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> so, our guest canceled on us today. And I was trying to She think. ain't want to record with me solo. That's really what it was. <laughs> no, but I thought it would be time to have some more guests. Yeah, so we've like, done a lot of solo lately. I'm like, let me just think of someone. And then I remember clicking on your Instagram. And I didn't hear your podcast. Yeah. You guys just looked fun. You That's were... the truth. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I played two minutes. And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, this is perfect, you know? Yeah. Because we've had our mothers on, and mm-hmm. they have different energy. Even though my mom is pretty similar to Lulu, I would say. Um, and I was just really impressed. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, because we all need some advice, I think, sometimes from someone that's just wiser, multi-generational, been a mother, and, you know. I'm a grandma. Well, that's <laughs> where I was this morning. Wait, you're a mom? Okay. No, 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 not me. Oh, oh my, okay. oh my God, imagine? She's, she's a mess. It's my other daughter. She's a fucking mess. You know what? I'm, I'm being honest. So I my literally sister can't is sleep. the one who's like so the old, married with a doctor. The oldest the sister is like sickening. You really want to throw up from her. <laughs> she's she's so married. She danced for New York City Ballet. She married the she's doctor. Perfect. Okay. I, yeah. She's nauseating. And anyway, then I came out and I was like, no more. <laughs> no. No, but the, literally, the older daughter's like, I cannot talk about her one more minute because all I really care about. It's hard because she's such a mess. But literally, I was babysitting today, and I've been there since 7 in the morning, and Tori goes, we've got to go to this podcast. These girls are fabulous. And I'm Aww. like, and I'm like, I am freaking exhausted. I just changed the goddamn shit out of my grandson. No, 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 All right? Um, he's eating every two minutes. He's trying to sleep. He's screaming. I'm like, just, I just want to go watch Netflix. Aww. But anyway. But you're I, happy you're here. No, no you guys are super, amazing. I, it's Thank super so dope, much. and I think that we're going to be on the same energy. I had a booty call at 4 a.m. and I worked all day. <laughs> oh, so I had a long day just like you were tired, tired, but you're a baby too. How and old I mean, is I, he? Wasn't, I wasn't changing the diaper, call. but I did try to stick my finger in his ass. So. Oh, oh, my mom knows that. Like my mom knows no, that. I want he, to know. he moved my hand ever so gently. Oh, so. my God. Darn. This is this. So I'm listening to Tori on a podcast. Okay. Now, the thing about my podcast, like, I talk, I'm very open yes, with my mom. Introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yourself. So I. Who are you? Oh, thanks, Mom. Who the hell are you? You're not the ballet dancer. No, she's not. She's not. She's the other one. <laughs> the creative. <laughs> the one who makes no money. We support her. Who else? Anyway, no, I'm Tori Piskin. I am, I guess, the other half of uh, Lulu the podcast I have yeah. with my mom called Got It For My Mama. That you and... sort of dragged me into. It's like my 10th job. <laughs> She's like, could you be here on the 25th? I need you. One... I work, I want you to know. No, I, no, yeah. I own fitness studios with the good daughter. What are they named? What's the your, the bad daughter, daughter gets daughter. me for no money. What's your fitness studio They're called? They're called Shay's Fitness. Is it on Class Pass? It is? Yeah. Stop it. Yes. Anyway, it I'm is. I'm a class fast whore. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, gotta... And whore regularly. No, <laughs> I'll just give you a few classes. I'll take them. Uh, no, yeah. you're in. You're in. Okay, anyway, let's get um, to the important So, stuff. yeah, so we started, I started, we started the podcast because I went through, like, a really bad breakup, and my mom was just giving me, like, all this wisdom, but also, like, talking so much shit about my ex that it was so <laughs> funny, and I was like, people need to hear this. Like, not specifically about Josh my Josh sucks. No, it, I mean, Josh <laughs> Andrew is the same name. Yeah, basically. Same, same basic, basic white boy. <laughs> and my, I was just like, this is so, like, funny. My mom. She just gives like such crazy wisdom. So I was like, why not start a podcast? And like, no, but I was like, first of all, so she had this boyfriend we don't have to go into the that we thing. talk about a lot because uh-huh. I'm obsessed and I'm more angry than she is. Okay. I am like obsessed that I want to to kill No, him. I want to go to the skate park. No, because it was a bad breakup. Kill is very bad today. Like, you kind of don't want to stab say that, him. But I want to stab him. <laughs> I fucking want to take a knife, and my husband does too. We'll do it. No, both of us. We want to skate up and just... <laughs> what did he do? He's no, a he, fuck face. I, <laughs> I, I, I Wait, we can sorry. call this on the podcast, right? I'm just oh, honest. Oh, you got okay. I guess so. <laughs> fuck. But, but, but here's the thing. So Tori was on another podcast who what? I can't um, remember all these people's names. Just I was on a whatever okay. podcast. Anyway, she's talking about ass play. And now I am like when the tossed salad and not, and I'm like my husband I have it on speaker and he's like, oh wow. <laughs> And I'm like and I'm like going, Oh my fucking god, what she does it was with the old boyfriend. I didn't know any of this. You know, I'm you an old lady. Your old boyfriend. No, 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 no. no. This I was, was on about the things that you yeah. did. What she did. How in I just a, put a, a finger in the, the 
But the I asshole. Just, yeah. Uh, now in your all. asshole. Uh, no, it was in his. That's all. All I right. But, it. but, but I didn't know my mom was going to listen. This but is she old. loves everything I do, so she's listening. Uh, Let me ask you a question, Miss Lulu. This was a lot for what me, though. What did Tori tell you about us today? <laughs> well, we listened. What did you hear? We listened to the first one. So, um, so I kind of yeah. knew what was coming. She's very and used to sex. I'm also huh? very liberal because of her. <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, I don't know what to say. And part of me is like, I don't want to listen. But part of me, I'm like, oh, my God, this is like really fant- I'm living through her and I'm living through both of you. Oh. I I think what it comes down to, though, for me and maybe your mom's felt that way is I just think it is so difficult out there today for a woman. Okay. Woman. I think the apps and the type of dating, mm-hmm. I think guys suck today. No, I, I really so mean hard, that. I'm not sure. like even joking. I like They don't see... even know how to change tires anymore. Hang up <laughs> pictures. Well, I, have to... I be having to find old Mexicans on Craigslist to come and do shit because the niggas I fuck with can't do what. It's bad. All they do is they just do it for beer. And I for swear, beer? A six pack of beer. Like, if you on go Craigslist, on Craigslist, sometimes yeah. you can borrow oh, alcohol. Craigslist, yeah. On Craigslist, yeah, like I the Mexican like movers boyfriend. take a little bit of cash and then mm-hmm. six packs of beer. We used oh. to do it in Florida all the time. Yeah, same. My oh. mom would go outside of Home Depot. She's like, I'm going to get this. Watch me. <laughs> and she'd be like, excuse me. He looks, he's got a truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But no, I agree with you. Like, just the things that older men, like the qualities of men, and if you go into the patriarchy system and all the things that men are supposed to do as far as providers and all the things around the house, right. like the building, the putting stuff together, I had to put together I mean he was a felon but he made me put he was my, a felon he made me put my own bookshelf together God and I was like did it. they not teach you that in jail did yeah no he must like, have been in the sewing classes you know, <laughs> <laughs> I watch well, Love After Lockup actually, I, I think know it was the library because he Say, was oh, words. oh he was in the library you watch all the Love After Lockup oh, here we go with it. the accents do you, do y'all, can y'all do the accents back and forth I don't accent. that's fucking Detroit, 90 Day Fiance oh my bad that's 90 Day Fiance I watch that too yeah I do a lot of like parody videos of like impersonating people from those we should do a Love After Lockup one together. She yeah. does. Yeah. I was going to ask yeah. you, um, I yes. tweeted something the other day yes. and I said, I've met so many people that have never heard I love you. Like in my age, 28 or in their 30s mm. from a partner. And I'm starting to wonder if it's because of how dating works now. You know what I mean? Like it's so fast to find someone to instant gratification of swiping. Yep. Your standards are already fucked up because you're looking at these gorgeous girls. I mean, I'm so grateful for the people that I sleep with right now. It's a guy and a girl, but they make me feel really beautiful. Well, that's really when good that I you already have know that. Tori, on Instagram. Why don't you try? They're it looking at other girl. things. <laughs> Yeah. No, she she needs to switch it up. Go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> well, see, I mean, Be even true. even hearing that L word, yeah. like there's like guys who have said that to me before, and I go right to like, you love me or this pussy? Which one? Mm. Like, because then I don't believe them when they say they love me. I think it's just my pussy. You don't believe. You don't believe. You love this, yeah. Mouth, huh? Like, I think there's parts of me they love, but I don't think it's all. You only make it a joke like that because they're not saying it seriously enough. I don't oh. feel like it's serious. No, not. like I think need people to come are with a getting. Or a shoe or something. I think people are just getting into relationships like so much later in life. Right? Do you think so? For the first time, like I have a lot of friends who are like twenty eight and like have never been in a relationship. Mm. I haven't been. I haven't been in a monogamous, committed relationship since high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I think that speaks to what's going on out there. Agree. Let, let's just quickly, Tori, tell them the story of what happened the other night. What Uh-oh. happened? Co- the guy oh, you were seeing. Oh, the, the guy I was shit. seeing. There's another one I'm going to stab. There's stamp. another? Oh, I'm stabbing too. pieces of shit? She finds, if there's an app <laughs> for a loser, <laughs> lost person, no commitment, fuck face, Tori's on that app. Did you know there was an app, app for what that? What is this app called? She finds it. <laughs> just my app. She, it's just her my app. personal app. Tell them well, what you know where it is, Tori. No, but, so. but tell them my app. What app is this? I was seeing. Tinder or Hinge or which one? No, well, the a few, the one. No, Hinge. Hinge. No, no. Hinge. I had to delete Hinge. a guy on Hinge. there. Why? Because he literally, so we're talking, less than 12 hours of him having my number, he started calling me the pet name. So he called me Boo. Okay. So I literally said, hey, can you please pr- refrain from calling me that? We don't know each other like yeah. that. He said, yo, you're weird as fuck. And then blocked me. I couldn't even respond after he called me weird. Really? Oh, so I was like, yo, let me delete this app. Fuck these niggas on this goddamn app. Oh, oh my I God. hate when people like think they get a leg up on me and then block me because I'm going to tell you right now. I yeah. will yeah. find your me. fucking just, email, but, motherfucker. But just and I will find problem. Instagram, yeah. Telegram. Oh, phone call. No. That's it. Where is the phone call? You're this right. is ridiculous. Just tell them quick okay. what happened. Oh, tell them so I was seeing this guy. It upsets me. I don't sleep at night. I cannot take it. We take more Xanax. Let me get to this. Go to another... 
what did I tell them? Can I get I to the you? story? Like, Can I just I tell you, you Lulu? Story. Are you yeah. not all of our moms? Let me just tell you. You are Jewel. She two point oh. Jewel's my mother. She said, tell them the story because I hate them. I can't sleep. Tell them. I hate them. It's the same thing. It's a mom thing. I know, but I can't even tell the story. So fuck face number two. What's the story? Yeah, fuck face number fifty two. I was seeing this guy. It's, it's actually 53, but okay. Yeah. I was seeing this guy for like a month. We met on Tinder. I kind of, I really liked him. We had the same birthday. That it was called, longer like, than cool. a month, but okay. okay. Well, like a month and a half. I was tortured for like two months. Okay. Okay, anyway, now Anyway, so he asked me to like <laughs> hang out with him one night. He's like, come, like, I want you to be my friend, blah, blah, blah. I go meet his friend, and he's like acting really cold when I get there. Like, this is weird. He must be like drunk or high. And then like 30 minutes in, I see out of the corner of my eye, he's on hinge while he's with you? Yeah, like in a conversation with someone. <laughs> she, telling you she only... And I was like... I like yeah. didn't even know what to... Yeah. I was like... He was swiping while uh-huh. he was with you. No, no, he, he didn't was know in, you could in a see conversation. It? No, I no, think I he was think. talking to someone no, he was else. Talking. He, he was talking. Like, he was probably the girl he's fucked an hour ago. <laughs> I'm being honest. He's like, I'm at work. Be quiet. I'm at work. I can't believe it. So anyway, it. so I... he was like... Also, he was like, I'm letting you know. Like, I'm not going to sleep over. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, I need to <gasps> leave. Sleep over? I was, I was like so I didn't even, I was so shocked and then it's it's weird because you can't really say anything because you were the one who was like breaking your neck to look a little bit you know what I'm saying well, no, she did no I did and that, well, well, that, wait, wait, what'd you say well that's because so she's then, had experience to be dumb right so it's like fuck you so many fuck faces right so then he was, I was like, like fuck you fuck face, fuck off, sure. fuck yeah. face. Yeah. so then I was like okay like I'm gonna go home then and he's like okay also this is a guy that like we had spoke we would like speak all the time on the phones it wasn't like a relationship but we were like Together, I felt. But he also told me in the beginning that he didn't want a relationship anyway. So we, well, he's but like, she should have ended it. But with the same birthday, it felt like such a connection. <laughs> I know, get it. We were born a half an hour this apart. This is what she tells me. Do you know what draw, she, she goes to I'm me, like, just, I met him, there's this kind of charisma, there's this, and I go, oh, another one that's going to fuck her. As soon as she tells me this, he and I, you know what I say? Don't sleep with them. You don't. get so much out of a man when you don't sleep with him. I'm, 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 I'm really no, freaking no. out because I feel like I'm looking yeah. at my mother really? bit white. <laughs> I'm, it's like really scary. Can we me. change? You know this. Wait a minute. Can we change? Change I, what? I will be oh, your mom and she could have Tori. <laughs> I will pay her to have Tori. My mom is not I'm, as I'm, crash. I'm, I'm she, yeah. Whatever. But, oh, my mom. Look at the last text me message she sent me. This is no bullshit. I didn't even I gotta, open it. I gotta put my glass. I can't see shit. <laughs> That's my mom. That now you're my mom. The last text. Call me, please, Tori. I do the same thing. No, no, the next you. one. Oh, you must be doing the nasty. <laughs> Good girl. That's a laughs. I do the same thing. What the fuck, mom? I must be doing the well, nasty because I didn't answer. I do the same thing. I don't respond because I can't, like, you know, help her with her bullshit. No, but my mom literally, like, if I don't respond to you, I can, she'll be like, hello. <laughs> My mom is like a 13 year old girl that just got a cell phone for the first time. Do you know like, what I mean? Oh, now you text fast. Yeah, that is hilarious. So, yes. ladies, what we're yes. gonna do with you? We okay. have a we have two segments or, or a few segments. What we do? The first one is our vanilla shit. I mm-hmm. have the. It's vanilla. what we talk about sex in the news. Okay. So this one that I found is very interesting. Um, it's actually here in New York. It happened in Brooklyn, and it's called "When the Dominatrix Moved In Next Door." Um, a kink collective in a residential area of Brooklyn has upset. Set longtime residents and has resulted in a culture clash and gentrification struggle all wrapped into one fight. Um, this is from New York Times. Basically, the neighbors uh, in this neighborhood had a problem with this woman's kinks and how she decided to live as a dominatrix. She kind of had a dungeon, and the people I think in the neighborhood the people, knew what she had. Her yeah. clients were like coming and they Whoa. could hear the billions. Thing. It's that's what I watch. Billions. Oh, it's, yeah, so it's like that. Yeah, billions oh, yeah, has no, that whole thing. Has that whole thing with right? people and on the Wall Street Yeah, I stuff. love that part of it. And That's the best really part of the whole show. It. Go ahead. So yeah. it says, the dispute began in January when Miss Miller began noticing men, some of whom she called weird-looking, coming and going from the house next door. It was like a heavy, continuous pattern of these guys that aren't in the neighborhood, she said. Because she lived alone, the foot traffic made her uneasy. So... <clears throat> Perturbed, she quickly put up flyers calling for a meeting with the Block Association and urging local residents to call the community board and the police about a gentleman's sex club that had no business being on the block. Now, after weeks of outcry and several community meetings, Miss Taylor is planning to move her custom-built kinky clubhouse wow. where folks play with the boundaries of trust and consent under pressure from Miss Miller, who says that the dominatrice dominatrices did not have her consent to be there. 
So wow. basically, the neighborhood got together for this woman who's enjoying her kinks in her own house mm-hmm. and petitioning to get Here's her Here's the of only it. way I think they have a shot to shit. Mm-hmm. If she's running a business out of her home. Right. Right. You're right. Uh, totally. If she's charging. You're right. If she's charging. Because here's the thing. Otherwise, like, you can't if, remove I'm gonna that. I'm going to be real with you. And yeah. I, Outside of a daycare, though, a lot of people run businesses out of them, their homes. And yeah, yeah but, problem, like, right? if you're going to have patrons coming to your house, like, come on. Bro, I'm gonna just going to okay. be totally honest okay. with you. We host this show, and I support sex work, but I do get, like... What about in-calls? <laughs> because here's the thing. If I was home and every time I like walked out in my building, I saw a guy there and maybe that scared me, like I could see how you'd be kind of freaked out. Right. However, most escorts that I know, like never do it in their house. Yeah. True. However, she sounds like a beginner. This one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm in, I'm just trying it out of my apartment. You know. You know how girls are I like. Guess you don't shit where you sleep. Yeah. Technically, you shouldn't. She probably has a right. day job, but she's like at night. You know, instead of a jeweler, I'm becoming like a dominatrix. Right. I'm trying it and out. And the fucked up thing is like, you want to give this person their privacy and the right. I don't really know if it's kink shaming from being upset. It's with funny because that. that's what she said in the meeting. She said Miss Taylor told her critics in the room, you don't have to kink shame or say that people are creepy because of the, because they enjoy doing what they do. She added that her hope when she moved to Bedford-Stuyvesant was to have a nice relationship with a nice community of woke people. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh now, God. that's a little... Bro, next, next one. I mean, that's what they're doing in Brooklyn, bro. But but they are doing that's If you not, watch yeah. the show Billions... See, oh, what, do they, know, what do they have in the show that made you think about just it? Like this. Into, Wall Street guys mm-hmm. that are going to a woman like that, you know, this, mm-hmm. and a woman that's Dominatrix, going to the woman yeah. like that. yeah. The, if you watch it, right. it's a hard show to follow. And, and that's the power, the way. releasing yeah. your power thing, yes. right? It's like maybe you say, should try that, Tori. Okay, that might be better than <laughs> Do the you dating find you're, you're really... doing. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, like for work. For work? No, she I said mean, you don't make I mean, money. This would be a yeah. great way. No, no, she does make. No, she makes much. She makes good money editing. Thank God. Editing. <laughs> thank She's a God. Editor, you don't know what I'm editing. God. And my husband always goes, "Oh my God, can't she just want to do that?" <laughs> I mean, God damn it. And no. Anyway, maybe you should try that. What Dominic? Whatever. Dominic. Do you think you'd be a good dominant? Dominic. No, you don't. I would be like. Oh, I would be like. Oh, I'm tired. Really. It's like a lot of Mandy, work. Mandy is a very Would dominant. You be good? So I, uh, really? Yes. Really? Wow. So the only thing, so I've looked into more, and so um, a lot of people who I've been honestly talking about foot fetishes a lot. But if you guys are into dominatrix, there's also Fet Life, which is an app for a lot of you guys to look into. But I'm super into taking control over men. Like I like men to be my bitch. Mm. So we talk on I the show. I love you. Yes, honey, <laughs> That's yes. the way it should go. I, I, I agree. Sorry. You consider yourself a dominant or submissive person? Oh bedroom. my god. Now I'm <laughs> well, don't talk about her Wait, daddy. I'm married 38 years. Oh wow. So you switch? No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> we are like done. We're like, we're like, we're like, no, I'm like, I mean, Tori's, Tori's dying. I mean, I'm exhausted. We're lucky if we do it at this point. Okay. No, it's like a lot of years. So what, what, it, Is it, it true? Like my no, mother I'm tells me it's, it's like I'm being, a few times a year. She yes, tells me. Yeah. Tori, I'm sorry. She hasn't heard this. Like, I hear everything better. Yeah, I mean, it's like at the point you were like, yeah, you're tired and that. I want to forget it. Oh, fuck it. We'll do it in, in three months from now. It's it's really oh, the wow. truth. Is that sad? I yeah. Think it, was, it is a little sad. It I'm is. not going to ask Maybe your you age. Maybe work on it. But I'm curious to yeah. your husband's age. He, uh, the same 62. age. 62. No, his, we're not the same it, age. Now, is, older. His, older. is his sex she drive he's older. Watch no, no, his, his is diminished. Thank his God. His sex drive has diminished. I'm thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty But you did you think he was very active when you were younger? Yeah, no, but... but well, uh, yes. 38 but, years of marriage but is a It's is a, a long kudos. time. And here's yeah. the thing. Do you really want to be married 38 years? Don't Honestly, you? Honestly. Wait, no. shouldn't you be like telling people you, you want to be? Daddy won't listen to this. Look, okay. I love him. <laughs> Daddy won't hear. No, he gets really mad at the podcast. Because my mom will oh. talk about how fat my dad is on the podcast. And my dad isn't fat at all. He just like needs to like go to a gym maybe once he a week. He just needs to like do something. Anyway. <laughs> no, You're listen. very like no, fit. In no, it. I am. I am. I, I understand that. He doesn't have to be but. 38 years is a it's not easy. Yeah, it's right. not. It's it it took a lot to get here. So mm. you become like more like best friends. Now I'm not saying it should happen to both of you because we met very young. Right. So here's the good thing about meeting older. <coughs> Maybe at my age you'll be having rampant sex. Mm. You know what I mean? Like we were like 20 years old. 
So by this time, it's like, ah, oh, forget, just get the Netflix on. <laughs> no one more turned on by Netflix. <laughs> or like the show Outlander on Star. <laughs> it's like a porn Can show. I just say, I might want to name this. I thought we were going to name it Fuckface, but now I kind of went, Daddy won't hear this. <laughs> right. That was the best real life. My mom says that shit to me all the time. Oh, she really? says it too. What did she feel say? Bad. My father won't know. So when we were on Viceland, she asked, what are you going to talk about? I was like... I'm mom, mad my mom. What kind listens. of question is that? You know, we're gonna talk about. Daddy won't understand anyway. <laughs> so, and we and he didn't. Yeah, my, he did my, my mom. No, my we mom were talking so fast. My mom will start having a conversation because now she doesn't have to ask what I do because between her looking at my story, my Twitter feed, and it listening to the podcast, yeah. she doesn't even ask what's going on in my life. She now just brings it to my attention. <laughs> right. And I she's love like, that. you know, um, hey, I was Tammy. listening to the to the podcast and girl, I had to turn it off. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it kind of got a little out there, and um, I just had to turn it off, man. <laughs> but she'll like come to me with this stuff, but it's now like I'll be like, bitch, I'm about to find your IP address for your phone. Yeah. You're not gonna listen to my shit anymore. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but I'm about to no, block I your can't. IP address. Now I'm like, if I go into someone else's podcast, I'm like, is she going to listen to like every single thing? I said one thing once where I was talking about like, I think like touching the guys pinky like gay with the with the, the torch <laughs> salad, the old boyfriend. Like, there's, I mean, oh, you I, got a pinky? No, she's uh, all I've very done. The do you know what pegging pinkies. is? Can we call you mom? No, mom, go yeah, yeah. mom. Of course. You don't know what pegging is? No, no. Explain Time it to, her. to let me get. Let's tell me what is. Pegging? So we did so pegging? bad with Pictionary. Let's get. Let's see. This is Mandy. Oh my God! A yes. woman. Oh my That's God! A woman. That's me. <laughs> Here's the man. You better. You well, you really wait, wait. educated. And then, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna basically. Wait, get... I like how the man is like like a nickel. Actually, wait, my, he's oh, like a I pocket. I want to make him small. My, my oh, okay. guy okay. should be way taller than that. <laughs> <laughs> my guy is taller than that. Actually, that's a good point. This is normally what they look like. <laughs> okay. But I'm just trying to show the angle here because okay. what Mandy does is she wears a strap on. I need you to. Can you color it in, that's Mark? That's got a big Stop old... Yeah. Stop it. Wow, that's big. It is big. Maybe and I should try that. In the ass. You should. I no, fuck so they guys wear. The you do? It's amazing. Wait, stop it. <laughs> Tori, have you done this? No. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't done I'm that. Like, Wait, she's almost there if she's doing fingers. She, That's the next I'm step. Almost there. Oh my God. You're almost there. I guess there. I have to find the right person. Oh, I asked him, my ex. I was like, I was like, do you want me to do that? And oh. he was like, no. Oh, he said no. No. Darn. I mean, you probably could have warmed him up, but he's a fuck yeah. Face. He's a but little I know. Over Tori he's has a fuck to face. Stop. Are we just sort of saying that? No, but I think Tori has to stop fucking white guys. I told her this <laughs> today. On it, sis. I swear. This is a good show. Now, if you guys are really Tori. trying to get listeners, no, no. Lulu, I'm being. We know a panderer, but I'm feeling this because I feel like you're past the bullshit. I think this is. Honesty. Did I tell you this today? She was me. Tell the truth. Wait, I just the story. So you got to stop fucking white guys because I don't do. Tori, pink dick I was no. You know, this is a true story. I was with my friend. And John, he's a comedian, and I do like sketches with him. Love him. And she was like, You should just like date like black guys. I think they like will treat you better. I'm done. She's okay, like, well, now that, uh, no, uh, that narrative, no, thing. no good. You might not want to just say that. Okay, I'm not saying, good. Niggas be with the bullshit too. <laughs> maybe yes. that's all yeah, but, I deal but, with. I don't, maybe she has to change it up. I mean, she's got to do something. You will I'm, definitely I'm, experience a little bit of a difference, I think, as far as like, so I date white guys and I date black guys. I yeah. only date European white guys because there's a part of me that's like kind of nervous that they'll be like racist if they're American, but I'm from yeah. Florida. Okay. So let okay. it go. Okay, you're from Florida. Okay. Right. You know, you just, <laughs> I'm right. used we, to we, it. Yeah, we, yeah. But I do find that black men are sometimes, just being totally honest, strangely, a little more in tune with how they're treating me. Mm. Like, they're more conscious of what's going on sometimes. It's like, I, I can't explain it, and I don't know if it's because we're connecting on a different level that maybe I'm not connecting with, with that white guy, but I have found that black men have just genuinely understood where I'm coming from more. Yeah. Um, as far as, like, when it comes from the things I'm looking for in a relationship, they're more honest and upfront with me. If I'm saying that I'm looking for a boyfriend and they're like, you Where know you what, I can't give you at? that. <laughs> what aisle is that on? Between I mean, all different aisles of the grocery store. I don't market. know if you're talking like that, though. And this, like, I am. I want a boyfriend. Oh, so when I get these, you do? I do. Wait, uh, this is what's so sad to me. It's so sad. Here's, I don't cry with the here's the thing. I feel Can like white guys want to just listen to me and they don't respond. No, but the that's thing is. That's what Tori's had. That's no, what happens. No, I'll tell them what I want. They're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but the last Tori, guy. Tori, this is you. Ha ha, Tori. <laughs> and I feel terrible. You what want a boyfriend. Ha, ha. Wait, what about John with her? John? Is John black? Wait, yes. Yes. But is John that's over 6'2"? 
He's very tall. He's, he's like six five. No, I see a picture. I like. Ooh, wait, 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 no, I like. Seller. I like Love no. John. Whoa! I, 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 I have for a reason. I want Troy to be with John, but if she can't because she <laughs> feels it, Prince, I'm giving him to you. You're giving me John. Yes. John, don't put John on the spot. I don't want to see him till we off air. Okay. I don't want to make no. No, fuck it. Let's see it. No, let me see it. Troy, show them John. Show, show Weezy John. No, and she does great videos with him. Let me know if this my type. He's got a great sense of humor. He's like six four. Six four is that's come high. on. I think he's like strap it on and go. Strap it on and go. Is this my tight? No. 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 Oh no. Okay. He's She's definitely not, not ugly. He's no, just he's not, not your type. type. Well, I'm shallow, so that's he's, he's cute. He's just not your. Oh, he's older. He's See? older. Yeah, he's like, I like thirty-eight. Oh, that oh no, old? no, you don't understand. What? Andy I'm likes her like one. twelve. Wait, wait, wait. The last guy, the that's last, your problem. The last Andy. guy I Mandy. had sex with was twenty-three. I totally Mandy. agree with you. Mandy, Go ahead, though. would you let that me? That is so wrong, <laughs> Mandy. Lulu, Mama Lulu's talking. <laughs> Look at me. I was just with my grandson today. Listen to me. I'm about to throw a tantrum. That is. <laughs> She's about to play baby shark. Wait, no baby shark. No, this is baby shark. Did you just think baby shark? Yeah, I see no, no. listen to Baby Shark. No, no, no. But that cocktail. You, you need to stop dating these young guys. No why? wonder why you don't have a boyfriend. So here's the thing. No. Why do you like younger no. guys? Wow, yo. No, 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 no. First no, no. right now. Yes. I go to say yeah, that no. we have some grown-ass niggas in this room and they yeah. single too. So here's the thing. I, I, I thing. get that. Let me, let me break this yeah. down. When's the last time you dated someone older than you? Okay. I mean, I have sex with someone who's older than me. They be no, dirty. she's saying dating, dating. <laughs> they still be in the, the millennials. Sex I only want is easy, except I don't for me. Gen, what is it? <laughs> except for Gen me. X, is that before us? Yeah. I don't want them old ass niggas. Baby. <laughs> but why do you like, like younger But wait, wait a minute. But why do you like younger yeah, guys? That's a good point. Why do you like the younger guys? Okay, yeah. so here okay. we go. Here's like, the what do they have to offer? Here's first off, mine be millionaires, so oh. we're not gonna. Mandy about like that. starting lineup, like you know when you watch <laughs> a draft, <laughs> yeah, they, and they're like right you... fresh out of college. Yeah, yeah. Mandy's okay. always like, so you like when they. <laughs> 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 No, no. Okay. Wait, that's no. the best. Harvard, yeah. wow, dude. Actually, Harvard Wait. doesn't be in the top. No, okay. really. Um, I mean, they're cute. I, I'll go to Howard before Harvard. Okay, all right, um, I get that. Clearly, <laughs> Tori's never dated <laughs> anyone from any of those. Okay. So, so here's here's the thing. No college, you're in. <laughs> Tori, <laughs> you're on a skateboard. Hey. You make no money. Oh, you fuck. Fucking. Let's fuck right now. Yeah, Ken. No. You have no job. You lost. Fuck me, let's go. God. So, like, it's true. What's the so, minute mark on that one? Get that. So, so with yeah. dating yeah. in this that. space of social media, of dating apps, it's awful. Yeah. Yes. So I have a lot of friends who do deal with older men. Mm-hmm. I tend to see that the same issues that they have with dating older men may or may not be the very same issues that I would have with dating with a younger man. Right. Here's the other thing. At, I'm 28. At 28, I'm still not in the phase where I want children. Mm-hmm. So I'm either meeting someone, if they're 38, they ha- they come with a lot of baggage, as in they have multiple kids. And 38? All- they already have multiple kids? Who the hell are you at meeting? At 26, they have multiple kids. What? This is what your daughter's going to deal with if she deals with <laughs> Oh, my God, stop. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Mandy. Oh, oh my, my God. Is this true? Me. Wait, is this true? Yes. No. Yes. no. I mean, you're painting a very bad picture. I had hope. <laughs> I was hopeful today. I was like freaking hopeful telling her this. Now you're ruining it. Because I was, this was just. Okay. I just want to tell you what's going on. Mandy is projecting. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's projecting. I mean, this was a She's serious projecting. conversation with my grandson there this telling her serious. to switch I'm over. Serious. I'm going to tell you the second that you can try you dating. Fuck it up. Middle, Middle Eastern face. men. Middle Eastern, okay. Oh. Middle Eastern men, black men. Just try okay, dating you a want man of with com- multiple be... wives. You need to sit here and be <laughs> <laughs> no. Polygamous. Or I mean, she's lay. She's crying from the whole she thing. She realizes how the bad it is. Thing. I mean, I, I, I'm crying because the old you man can be coming with baggage. Or oh, no. back, back to that. If they don't have the baggage that most typical men do come with then at 38 that's what they want they want to settle down and they want children and they they want children okay. immediately and because i can't give that you to just them, said you want a boyfriend yeah but there i don't want a baby there's no 23 year old that's gonna be your boyfriend there's a lot of 23 year olds that have girlfriends i see them all the time not, not so much anymore <laughs> not yeah. no no they're, no, they're like, will. They're like let's give me the run out of mandy who's looking for a boyfriend mandy's a 28 year old accountant okay i know i run this business Yes. We're on tour. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. on tour. You're not on very tour. smart. Thank yes, you. I, I'm an accountant, very. actually. No, I, I couldn't believe your background. Oh, yes. so that's why you're successful. Yeah. 
Yes, thank you. You're both very smart. Thanks. But you need to be smart. But I like Marvel. In the bedroom. I, but I'll, oh, I'm smart in the bedroom. I know, I know, but you oh, want I'm a, here, not here. <laughs> yeah, but you want a boyfriend. I do. This doesn't fit what you're telling me. What do you, how, 38 what is fit? very young. Is it? Yes, it is, it is today. I, I, I mean, but you up behind me with 58. I don't even care anymore. No, it's young. <laughs> 38 the, is young. I, yes. think, I think what Today. she's trying to say is like, she, for, you need the, for where your life is, right? You're 28. You're not, and I like you're not rounds, a baby. So I need them young. I need stamina, boo. Yeah. Wait, a 38-year-old they doesn't do not, have They do not. Hell no. They old. Who are you then. meeting? It's like, it's like powder. <laughs> Who is she meeting? Coming out okay, the hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who is she where meeting? Where are you meeting? Like, where okay. do you meet most of your guys? Instagram. First off. Oh, they slide into your DMs? I just told my mom what that meant the other day. She was like, what does that mean? Sliding into your vagina? I thought it was like they was fucking, you know? No, so I, no, literally, she's like, they're sliding to the DMs. I thought they were like having sex. I didn't understand. How could I understand I what that, that means? No, they be sliding. So right? I don't meet everyone from there. I mean, yeah. I have, I have, hey. I feel like I'm in this a lot of circles problem. where I meet a lot of new people anyways. Yeah. But I genuinely don't find the attraction to older men. And I feel like they're condescending. Right. I like to kind of feel like a teacher, but I'm also mm. dominant. So I like right. to feel like I can teach somebody new things i don't like for somebody to tell me oh you too young you don't know about that i don't like that because i'm a narcissist a little bit I'm yeah. a narcissist. so i like to feel like i know it all that right. is the first time i've ever heard you admit that and i oh, just yeah, want to no, say is that true i told her i was an empath and she's like yeah. bitch no you're not <laughs> and i was like look at the an meme empath. i said look at the meme it it, it describes me. Mandy, I'm not even bad. close. I, f- don't be shady. I think you got to switch yeah. over, too. I don't know switch what. Over to what? Switch over I don't know what. I, so, so this I is a thing. Jewish? So I, Jewish. First off. Hold on. Okay. Uh, first of all, my father's Jewish. Jewish. No. Oh. No. Wait, Secondly. And I want you to know she's never been with a Jewish guy. Me and neither. We are Jewish. First off. Oh, and you too. Because yeah. I grew up watching cheap. So oh. and here's the problem. Oh, oh, my husband's very I was about cheap. to say, see, I like I like generous niggas. Yeah. So okay. Jews not going to oh. happen. So let me no. tell you how I know I can't dicks. be with a Jewish man. Okay, tell us. My parents fell in love, right? My mom's this hot young black girl. Not really young. She's mid, late 30s. Young to you. And my father and her met in San Francisco. She's buying her whatever she wants, blah, 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 blah. Boom. Once she gets pregnant and they get married, I saw what he did. From a young age. What did he do? I knew. He would like, you want a new Jaguar? I'll buy it for you. But it's got to be 10 years old. Like, he was always fucking cheap. My dad went to buy me my first computer. I kid you not. We were in the Apple store. We couldn't get some free shit with it. Acer, bitch. He left. We went right to Best Buy. And he's like, get you a getaway. Getaway. Pick, Gila, I don't know what you like, but pick. It has to be 300 under. And I'm like, Daddy, there's only one computer that's 300 under. It doesn't even come with a keyboard. He was ridiculous. I'm not going to be with a Jewish man. You should see what he does. You get discount for cash. (laughs) All the time. I mean, but my daddy Jamaican, and he swear every time I get a Man. discount, man. Every time we go into maybe somewhere, he wants a discount. Maybe it's an older guy thing. See, this is yeah. what I'm talking about. I ain't you got time I mean? for that. Okay. See, look, but maybe you just need right. a young guy. I think you With want, an old soul. I'll take it. A young guy who just want, who wants to be like, like, a, like, okay, tell me what to do. Right? I get those. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But, see, but they don't want to be in a relationship. I think the but problem is, in your mind, boyfriend. you We're not feel getting like, to the core. because you're dominant, mm-hmm. is this wait, like an event? Wait, we to a I therapy so. session. I don't even know how we, we got to this. I know, wait, I know. What is going I, on? I don't the know. The attention needs because to be all the I'm going to tell you why. Because you laid it out there, and you said, I want a boyfriend. I would like one. Here's the thing, too. And so I'm trying to get into why you don't have one. I've had guys to be with me. I've had two guys want to be with me. So, Felon Bay made it, like... Felon Bay wanted to be with me, but he was I'm, a felon. He was a felon. And oh, I thought like, that was his full name. Oh, a no, felon. I felon. thought you meant it was the name. No, I thought oh, it was wait, his last name. for a second. So we may say names of guys that we see, yeah, but there's the a Beard name. Bay. Felon, Felon Bay, twenty four seven. Okay, scissors. Like the girl oh, I scissors. Okay, okay. nickname. Like okay, so okay. Felon the Bay, nicknames. Okay. I really, really liked Felon Bay. Like, yeah. enjoyed him. But I'm also very big at twenty eight. I feel like when you're in your late twenties, early thirties, and this can go to to the listeners too. When you're dating, I don't want a date to be claimed. I want a date to build. And so, if I find someone where I feel like he wouldn't be a good partner for me, and I was just telling my friend this last night because his money isn't where I would need it to be. Yeah. If I'm with somebody, I'm not going to let my partner struggle. And at this point where I'm making the money I'm making, I also don't want to get into a relationship as an investment to help pick someone up. I want someone to either meet me at my level and we build each other, but without where we feel like but we have But it's not a little hard if they're 23, like though? It would be, be an they, older wait, man. Wait, yeah. Tori's right. 
that would. I'm like, so I'm talking to this one guy. Unless now. you're getting a dad, a he's 23 year old dad. I am very, I'm very cool. He's 33, okay. right? Yeah. And it's I'll, working out I'll. because. I've never heard Mandy say she's dating someone with a three in front of their head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's 33. Unless and actually, just three. We was, when we fucked, he was in his 20s. Oh, okay. um, Wait, what do you mean? You skipped for 10 years and then no, you. We, we stopped him talking up for again? <laughs> so Wait, I'm confused. That's the thing. He's now, he's now a free agent. He's retired. So now it works out because he's in the investment. and retired? Oh, football. And I don't even deal with them like that, but he had his, like, nine-year run. Wait, what? Wait, she so found Andy him again? likes to date athletes. Context. Oh, oh okay. boy. Oh, Andy boy. likes to date athletes, so okay. you can They have retire. a lot of wives, but that's okay. Do they? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead. No, that's that's the Middle Easterns that and you're I trying to have a lot of wives. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. You're you're no, watching too much of the no, Kardashians. No, a wife and a few... Yeah, I'm thinking of the Kardashians. Yeah, she's thinking of the Kardashians. We were just watching the episode, you know. I watched them all day. I was babysitting. Tristan, it's true. No, I was babysitting, and I'm like, shut up, kid. I'm I'm busy with Lamar, Tristan. Oh my right. God, the whole episode was Tristan. Yeah. Shit. I right. think the thing with you, because you're a dominant person. Real quick, you y'all. Find that I did not. This is what happens when <laughs> Wheezy doesn't have an outline. I have and it. we got, well, bitch. I I think where where, where did this happen? Very, you're very organized. Yeah. I can't believe the paper and the uh, pad and the drawing. And the, I, oh, that was just a well, joke. No. <laughs> I learned so much. No, but that's Better get, get a compliment, but, bitch. But by the way, that's better than Tori does. I was like, <laughs> we need that fucking pad with the dick pan and whatever. <laughs> Tori, I mean, I want that. I want the phone going. I want the pen. By the way, I feel like so every time out. someone should drink is when my mom says, Tori, you got to be wasted by the end of this episode. That's a great. We'll put that in there. We'll put that, we'll put that in the no, description. My final sentiments on that. I actually took go through outline. I just forgot to okay. text you. I think because you're dominant, Here you assume go. that someone old, younger will go. let you do that and older won't. But you're like, oh, they're gonna, you know, they're not gonna want me to learn from them, blah, blah, blah. I've dated men in their 40s that can still learn from me. You need to date someone that's just receptive and open to that. And I just think it's just not happening. Just like with young guys, too. They know it all sometimes. Right. So you can't tell them shit. True. You know, so Valid. like. It, it's the, it is the same bullshit, but I do think you have better chances with at least someone being more committed, which is what you want. I really think it, there's a yeah. meme where it's like, oh my God, I want to get married. And then the very next one I posted it today, it says, oh, why do you eat your toast that way? <laughs> so it's like, where it's literally like, <laughs> that is really I really funny. If I like someone, then I find something that I fucking like. But my, I can my, can I just him. say something? So I married my husband. All right. I, I don't even really know how I walked down the aisle. Like I was, no, no, I'm not, wait, you're going to, wait, you got to hear go. this. I woke up the next day and I looked at him and I go, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> did y'all do it in Vegas? The next day? No, no. no but This was a no, real wedding. No, no, yeah. I married, this is the same man I'm married to for 38 years. I literally woke up and said, what the fuck did I do? Called my mother two days later. I said, I'm getting a divorce. She <laughs> hung up on me and she didn't talk to me for three months. And I was like, I was so young and it was so long ago. How old were you? I was 23. Oh. I mean, I was, I, yeah, and, and I so literally. you didn't even have a hope phase, did you? No, 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 nothing. Zero. So my mother hung up, and then I was like, where the fuck am I going? I teach aerobics. No, I was like, scared. I, I, no, I was like, but I really was like, real, I was really petrified. You know what I mean? You're like, like, all I have is my leggings and my leotard. I'm, I'm, I'm Jane fucking Fonda. Where am I going? God damn, I hate him. God damn it. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. But, and, then finally, and then I was just horrible. I was an asshole. One day I came home and back then he had the yellow pages out and he goes to me if you don't go to therapy I'm oh, leaving shit. no and then I was like uh oh I was like I better go to therapy because I was too scared that we should break up what were your issues they found I think I was just here's the issue I was just really young and I just wanted to be out there more I wanted to experience life and I didn't really get a chance and I really because of the time it was, it was like I was expected to get married. How do you feel about people that are now in open relationships so that they can experience that? What do you think of that? Because, I, I mean, think generation, that's new. I think I, here's what I think. I new. think it's great if everybody's open to it. Mm. Here's the thing. It's like, I always go back to Tori. But, you know, like she says, she meets that the fuck face, number <laughs> 52. One? Okay. There's been so many. Mm -hmm. But the last one with the hinge date. And he said, I don't really want a relationship. They could say that. Hello, yeah. but she does, but she does. So let me oh, ask she'd you. she'd be good with that then. They all, well, they all she say seems that. to pick no, this. So let oh, me ask do. you, oh, yeah, in, yeah, this, yeah. in this realm of dating, mm. when someone says that immediately, what is it that you're looking for and what keeps you to talking to someone well, after what, they tell you that? This is what happened with this guy. He said that and I said, okay, then we should just end it. And then he 
freaked out. And he was like, wait, 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 wait. I don't mean like end it. I just mean like, can we just take this slow? And I was like, take it slow. So basically, uh, I, because I think, right. he, yeah, he just like he wanted to be like friends. But with I'm sorry, Sharonis, can we have a translation? Yeah. I'm fluid fuckboy. F- f- fuckboy shit. What does take it slow mean? Boy? What? He wanted to definitely continue uh, the benefits. Right. Yeah, he you. wanted to like eat his cake or whatever. And have, or your ass. His ass. ass. No, there was no ass play. I this think one. this one didn't have ass yeah, play. No I know ass everything ass. at this point. <laughs> this I one mean, is I very do. plain. It's so sick. So, okay. okay. I have a few have you ever icebreakers for you guys, even though okay. we're, we're broken. We're, we're open. Broken. We're right, right, right. I think everyone's <laughs> broken. Okay, here we and go. And these are for both of you. Mom oh, first, Dawn a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got it. My accent's there. Have you ever? Yes. Fucked a black eye. Never. No. That's wow. why she needs to. Oh, uh, once you go black, honey, you know I, what they say. I want her you to. You regret it when you go back? Shh. No, you, no, you're you never. You know what kind of black guy you need? Tori, no, no, I mean, if you go. Away. I'm going to take you to everyday people. What's that? I'm, Tell me I'm the, not lying. The black guys that have incense burning. Like in a, their house. Like a Coachella black guy. Oh, I like okay? that. Oh, okay. Like totally like, like the childish Gambino. We, nah. One Did time you I see a new video that. dancing one with Rihanna. One time in college. That's the type of nigga I want. Ooh. I don't Y'all ain't see, you ain't see. Yes, I saw it, bro. It's so beautiful. But that's that wasn't the type it. of guy she's trying to put you, you on. You one time oh, okay. what? Child. One time in college I made out with a guy who was half black. No, that, that doesn't count. Oh, it doesn't Worry. count. I mean, no, but that's saying we're not black. That counts. But then he, then his roommate lied to me and told me that they're like, oh, Steven isn't black. He's actually the opposite of albino. And I think they were Wait, just fucking what? with me. I think they were just <laughs> fucking with me. No, 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 no. He looked like they he was, was black. He looked you. half black. And I was, right. and then I saw his parents and they were both white. I think he was just adopted and everyone was trying to okay, fuck yeah, him. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He was a probably. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean. Oh. And that's the only black experience you have? <laughs> this is a problem. Listen, I, 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 I agree. everyday people I is agree. this dope yes. Afrobeats party and everyone's like Brooklyn woke, you know what okay. I'm saying? And they're not, you're not going to walk into this place because sometimes when I take my white girlfriends into a black space, I'd be like, damn, I know they I was about to say, I have the opposite thing. Let her just take you Some, sometimes to the just... clubs and bars that she frequents because I literally was like, bitch, they don't like I'm too black for them black guys in that place. Because you're the you're the girl that the black guys in those establishments okay. want because they don't Tori. want me. <laughs> All right, I guess pick we're up, going. That's where you need to take pick her. Up your ass plane, get over there. I'm telling you, the fucking guys are so dope. And then they're already like, you've got to be a little mm. socially conscious already to be at an everyday people kind of party. Okay. And so like, they're just going to be happy. I'm convinced she has edge control at the house, so I'm sure she's <laughs> lit. You're, you're going to be good. <laughs> Listen, my, my dad tells me all the time, like, you know, you tell people, you keep telling them you're black, you're white. You know, we <laughs> you all do, you're black, we're Jewish, we're same thing. <laughs> we're same thing. <laughs> my dad really believes that. He believes Jews and, and I mean, look at Brooklyn, for real, with like Jews and black people. Like, but it's all the same. It, it, it's oh, the same. Flatbush, no. Avenue D. All right, all right. I think the struggle black people, between Jewish blacks right and the Jews, end. the oppression between both. Like, I mean, if we're being honest here, Jewish people are the most hated white people ever. Ever, if you yeah. wouldn't even call them, that's right? true. No, they are the no, most. No, no, no. They yeah. also own everything. So, Hold on, you're totally wrong not right so here, much bro. anymore. The now, slurs, did you watch Black Klansman? No. How people talk about yeah. Jews? It's yeah. disgusting. It's, it is bad. It's it is really bad. bad. Yeah. yeah, and like the way that Black people are treated, and there's this thing of being the minorities. I mean, I hate to say that. I mean, Jews are. No, but yeah. we are. We are. I mean, and, and we so, are. I mean, on J Swipe, there's a lot, but yo, you can have another me, a Black Jew, baby. That's right. My dad was like yelling at me. He's like, "You need to get a Jew," and I was like, "Fine." I'll download J Swipe. Is that like Soul Swipe? What? Uh, is that so soul soul wait a minute. Is that so like Soul, soul Cycle? Soul is where you know. What soul, <laughs> soul Swipe is like actually the, the app black with one. black. Oh, really? Black Jews? No, there's no black. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Those don't exist except for the one right here, and she's only half. Uh, oh, okay, all right. Have you ever? Okay. 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 Have you ever fucked a black guy? Have you ever had sex in public? Uh, Cover your ears, Tari. Uh, in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Wait, were you at a restaurant or a party? Uh, party. Okay. <laughs> That's it, With my husband. Well, okay. Aww. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> well, no, Tori, I had a life before oh, right, him. Right. Hello. <laughs> what about you? Um. Oh, I'm up. Oh, I yes. one up on you. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Where were you? It was with Andrew. It was another fuck I mean, it was with the first fuck It was one. skateboard. It was at work because we worked together. Skateboard you were at face. work? Yeah. Wait, what? We worked together. That's bad, Tori. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say to her. It was like in the gear room. In the oh, gear yeah, like room. The production? Yeah. Ay, ay, it's ay. a creative you, job. You don't work there it's anymore, a... right? No. Good, because you wouldn't have had a job if it wasn't her. Now, that was that stupid. Was like she does okay. stupid things. Have you ever had sex yes. while Tori was sleeping as a kid in close proximity? 
Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever had sex while well, your, your mom, mom was in it. another room? I mean, we I grew up in the city, and it's really, you know, our apartments. Yeah. Yes. I had a high school boyfriend. Oh, my God, I was making them breakfast. What are you talking what are you, about? You Cause heard we, them? Cause we, no. no, I didn't hear them, but we, you have to remember, we live in an apartment in the city, and it's pretty close. So, so in no, high school, I had we this didn't boyfriend, hear and my them. mom would let me So I was very over. liberal, and I'd be like, I'd be like, all right, he could sleep over. My husband would put like earplugs in, <laughs> and I'd be like, all right, fuck it, whatever. They should. I'd rather. Can have I just say in though, a lot of people are gonna listen to this and think you're insane. However, I am insane. My mom oh, used I, to yeah. do the same thing because I she love you, always. Mom. She was like, I'm never gonna let you get pregnant. I'm never gonna my have you have sex exactly in an unsafe reason. place. Yeah. I'm reason. never gonna let you go to his friend's house. That's and how people I feel. be around. <laughs> and seriously, my friends that have been in situations where they've been even close to being sexually assaulted was. Sneaking to a guy's house right. and their friend's place, and there was other men around. So, like, what you did, seriously? Well, not, I wanted her no. safe. It no, was, seriously. Safe. I, I it wanted her safe. Anyway. It makes yeah. it to where the conversation between mother and daughter is a lot more close. Because I feel like my mom w- was also aware of my boyfriends and who I was dealing with, clearly, because she used to want to go to the bar. Who are you talking to? <laughs> but, I'm the um, same way. I yeah, live for What's his number now? <laughs> my, my daughter knows him. Um, but, um, <laughs> but it made our relationship closer with her knowing the men that I was around. But also, on the flip side, for all of my friends, who grew up and a lot of my friends growing up were actually Latina in some way. So I had a Mexican best friend growing up, a Colombian, Puerto Rican, and their households were very protective of them not being with men, not only not men, but not with black men. Yeah. Um, and so they used to blame me why all their daughters liked black men, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> um, but all of those friends from me growing up who had such strict parents multiple kids right. and kids even in high school Wow! because they were so we, we were yeah. friends in, in high school and I mean I'm sure you remember my mom was like talking about condoms she used to make us bring condoms to the club that we got in with our <laughs> fake IDs yeah. your mother yeah, yeah. and my yeah. mother knew about the fake ID but was just like look I need to know where you're going. So if you're going to go to a club I tonight feel. with a yeah, fake ID, tell me where you're going to be in case so, something yeah, happens. No, what, do you mean, I, no, what do you mean I had a basket at the door? Grab your condom and get in the back room. <laughs> oh, no, but no, but I really, I mean, I really did feel like instead of her being at the park screwing at night, yeah. park. I'd rather Central Park because we <laughs> lived in Manhattan. No, and I, they'd, get it, they'd come out in the morning and I'd be like, eggs anyone? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the truth is I felt good that at least she wasn't You know, number one, not, you know, somewhere else I didn't know, getting in trouble, getting pregnant, and all the things that you just said. Can I ask you, at what age was she when you had the conversation about the birds and bees or whatever? And at what age were you okay with knowing that she was having intimate relations with men and that you guys had those conversations? Uh, High school. Uh, Yeah, I had But But we talked about it early on. Like, maybe 11? Okay. Yeah. 11, I think. Okay. Let me ask and then, you, have yeah. you ever been embarrassed yeah. by your mom <laughs> yeah. for being so open? Because I'm sure now you appreciate it. She's here, you have yeah, a podcast. Now we like, appreciate I it. it. But she was mom. very embarrassed. Yeah, I because I was too. In, well, high school, in high school, my mom, like, brought me and my boyfriend in high school like chocolate body like something like <laughs> like you could like put chocolate like on each other's body oh, I don't even know where she got it from it's true <laughs> it was like like I was like why do I have it about that like, like she like gave I'm, it wait, to me like, like chocolate massage like oil lick to lick off your body yeah you know what I used to buy you like lingerie I think. Yeah. it was a little sick now that I think about it <laughs> <laughs> no I think she was so happy because my sister was like very innocent and didn't even have a boyfriend time no the sister was in bad bad shape so, like, I was like, you so know I think what? She was just, like, happy that, like, one of her daughters was, like, getting late. I mean, I was oh. appropriate age. I was, eight, I was, like, 17, 18. I was going to college. It was, like, the summer. My yeah. mom was like, here's some chocolate. Here's some thongs. <laughs> <laughs> but yet she wouldn't put me on birth control. Everything else besides that. So, let me ask you that, that question. That is so true. I'm curious about that. You said yeah. she wouldn't put you on birth control? Because she was worried about breast cancer. No, I was. No, because a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I was. This was a thing. So, about. It used to be a whole thing 15 about years ago. Right. Right. They were not sure if it was linked. Oh. So I was like really paranoid about that. Because we have it so, in our family. So I don't even want to, I'm not going to say the other story. So I would tell you okay. to get the diaphragm, which no one's ever heard of. Oh my God. Do you right? remember in Sex in the City when she got it stuck? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's like us with condoms in our I know. Pussy. We get, you know, Do birth you? control. Yeah. That was our first episode. I got a condom stuck in my pussy. Yeah. We my didn't pussy that just be Did that ever happen to you? The goddamn condom. Um, no. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, well, we just have one. Sorry. No, but, but I got a diaphragm stuck. 
because that's all I used. Did, he, did your husband help you get it out? I had to go to the gynecologist. Yeah, you got to go. Like, that's up there. No, like, it was really up there. There was no coming out. And he and, and he's a oh. dentist, so he had the tools and the whole thing. Oh, no, the, the dentist tools are not the same for vagina no, tools. No, I, I, I know that. Joy doesn't know any of this. I Whoa. swear. He had the flashlight and the... <laughs> Tori does, I'm saying things she has no idea about. That is oh. funny. Now I'm like, do I even want to go to my dad for like my teeth anymore? No. <laughs> I'm like, where are those things? Where going? is this practice? Oh because my God. Let's just check. No, let's not. <laughs> no, my it's God. It's got a little Lulu on God, I'm going to bring that tool right so, home. So let me ask you, no. okay. as as a yes. parent who's yes. open with talking about sex and mm-hmm. being sexual and lib- liberal um, when it comes to sex conversations, would you, what, what would be your advice to other mothers with teenage daughters with having these conversations and maybe opening their relationship a little bit more up? I think you, I think you got to really sit down and open the conversation up with your child and be liberal enough to hear them. You've got to listen mm. because if not, you will get a pregnant teen. Mm. You will get a kid that's going to go off and have multiple partners at a young age. Mm. Because this, I feel the stricter the parent, the more the child. The wild the kid is. Yeah. What do they say? The, the preacher's daughter is like yeah. the... Yeah. It, it, it's, I, you know I, our fr- friend from back home in Orlando. Oh, she had a. Her daughter was a pastor, and she well, had she a. She, no, she, she fought, lost her virginity she and niggas. got pregnant. Like, oh, hello. I mean, you. Yeah, yeah. She was fucking the same nigga I was fucking. I mean, really? yeah. I mean, hello, Netflix. Why you, you brought it's it all up? All these shows on Netflix. <laughs> you I mean, really love Netflix. Can you tell us what you're binging to, get, to give us your top two? <laughs> oh my god. Um, top two. Three. God, wait. Right. She gets into bed at four, I, eats dinner, and then we'll watch till like nine. I don't even know. There's so many. Oh, wait. What's? Oh, I'm watching Quicksand right now, which you probably have never heard of. Oh, I haven't started that. Yes, I'm loving that one. <laughs> okay, good. I need I, a new show. I, I, I thought you over. Oh, wait. I just on. finished Umbrella oh. Academy, so I need to be like, I'm trying to get you to fuck a black guy. Ozark wait. is good, too. Oh, man, I already got He's very that. cute, by the way. Uh, he is. He's adorable. He's straight. And I like that he actually said, you know, I know we're going off topic, but I like that he said, you know, I'm honest now. And you really She's talking about Sharonis, by the way. I, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Thing. He really fessed up to, you know, like really it's making some changes. You know, he is one of our favorite male guests we've had. He's so sweet. I think it sounds good on the mic. <laughs> I felt though like he was honest. It sounded he's an actor too. I'm not <laughs> no, sure. I, uh, <laughs> no I, I did think of that. I did think of I that. Think you thought about that. I did, I did, I did. I no, I, I did. <laughs> but, he just, I think that... but you know what? You're a very good actor because you seem very real. No, I was yeah. like ready to fix you up with her. I was like, go off, I'll give you a hotel room, I'll pay for a go. Hotel room? Dang. She don't want to hear you. I don't know. She's we like, he's big. Together. That's going to be a like, lot I can of hear you in Williams, but I mean, still. At least he ain't wrote. Creative, but yeah. better than money. Yeah. Yeah. But Got he it. doesn't fly out, so it'll have hey, to be local. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. Do we have any home mail before we get you up out of here? Oh, God, you guys have more questions? We had a kink Sorry. of the week. We had more questions, but we've just been enjoying you guys you so much. You guys yes, are so great. Yeah, I love you. Love so much. you guys, Wait, are you going to invite us on your podcast? For dinner? Yes. For, for like Wait, no, we'll, we'll take dinner first. We'll take dinner. Like, let's go. Fuck the show. No, podcast definitely. Where do you guys live? What area? Well, she lives in Williamsburg. Yeah. Okay. And I'm on the Upper East Side, which is so boring. I'm Lower East Side, okay. Oh, you are? But I'll make brisket. I'll give you a Jew. Well, you're used to a Jewish dinner. I'm not. My mom is black. My dad doesn't cook. Oh. So and you're in. Okay. Well, what's brisket, a matzo dinner? ball. Well, really, I make Ugh, Italian awful. food. We just have to bypass. My nephew lives with me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh my God. Wait. My he's nephew 21. is 20. Don't do this. She's in Tory. He's <laughs> almost 23. She's full of shit. She doesn't even know. And he's gorgeous. Yeah. He's lived with me for three years. His weed and everything comes with him. You want an Uber driver for weed? He's got it. He's no, he's in the middle of dinner. This is three years with us. And he goes, he goes, my Uber driver's here. I'll be right back. And the place fucking stinks. I can't take it. You don't know what goes on in my apartment. Do you smoke dog, I do I said pot because I, that's on my mind. I know. Oh, you uh, did once a few years ago. I did. I did. I and I know. And, and then she ended up having diarrhea. Oh yeah, shit. I and know. And her pants disgusting. on the car ride home. What? I don't think. I don't know. But how did we get? Let's say, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about you my go- tell all her fuck face. I know. Yeah, that's so, true. But as soon as right. she starts talking about you shit right. in the car, you're she's right. like, "What I are you did. telling me?" I shit in the car with another boy, and now the ex fucks. Fuck face. No, he liked him. I kind of liked him, though. You dumped him, though. Right. Yeah, of course you dumped him. <laughs> he was too good. Okay, so we get yeah. home mail every week, mm. which is basically letters from our oh, host. I love this. And um, 
this one's pretty good. And I, I really like this one because, you know, Jews and circumcision. Here we go. Yeah. The subject is turtleneck stank. Mm. <laughs> Dear Mandy and Wheezy. Okay, I have a situation and I need y'all's advice. I met this guy on Tinder after a week of talking. But to my place for us to meet at nighttime, of course, it was chill and then things got heated. He ate me out and then he asked me to return the favor. I was down until I realized he was uncircumcised. I have never been with a guy with a turtleneck and it freaked me out. I tried to go for it until I noticed, all caps, a smell. (gasps) Oh, no. I can't explain, but the shit was foul. I damn near gagged and made the fake excuse of being too tired to finish Uh, giving a blowjob. But the night went on. We had sex with a condom, of course, and it was good as hell. Things this guy could get. She still fucked the guy after it smelled. Things is nasty. She said it was really good. The things that this guy could get more serious. The sex was really good, but the dick smell wasn't. If we get down again in the future, I want to be able to please him. So what should I do? Sincerely, turtleneck hater ho. Just tell him the truth. What? I was going to say, I totally agree. Although Tori told the guy the truth about that, and that was the end no, of the relationship. No, it didn't smell. I said, Bad sex. I said the sex wasn't very good. And that was the end. How did you tell him that? Well, he was like, we had sex, and he was like, oh, it took you a really long time to finish this time. And I said, can I be honest with you? And he, was like, yeah. <laughs> and he was, I was like, I just think like what you're doing isn't exactly like what gets me off. Well, that was a nice. No, that's way very to play. nice. Yeah, that was very nice. And then he was like, uh, "So, have you had this problem with like other guys or just me?" And I was like, "I think it's just like your technique." You you did a really good I job. I know my therapist said that. the same thing. You did a really good job. <laughs> my therapist said the same thing. Because that is, I I wouldn't have said it that nice. Yeah. So I'm a little bit more no, brash I like that. with my. But I, I don't I don't think that I don't know why we're all so terrified it, of so, telling people the truth. But that's why like, we should ask her question is. What should I got, she do? I got something for him. Yeah. He, here's something. Okay. Well, y'all know I don't like turtleneck dick. Mm-hmm. But ironically, one of the guys who I really like has skin. And it's like, why really is it like that it. bad to you? What? Don't say like that. I mean, it's, it's just it sucks a- for me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I sucked the shit out of this dick that I had this morning. I'll see you but this it's, morning but, but, already. Oh, girl, it's 4 o'clock. Yeah, remember? Oh, right. Yeah, a.m. but, like, like there's no skin. So, like, How? I've had partners who have well, you uncircumcised dicks. Oh, no time. wonder why you were the 23-year-old. You know, well, well, this one is, I see. This one is, you like this pumping it out. All right. I do. I do oh, pump 30. it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah you do. But... When it comes to if there's a smell, Mm -hmm. if you don't feel comfortable telling him that there's a smell and you do enjoy having sex with him so much, I would try to make it kinky a little Mm -hmm. bit and suggest to get in the shower with him first. But every time? Well, no, just get in the shower with him at least the first time or maybe first two times. Yeah. And I say you take it and you clean his dick. And maybe let him know before we have sex, this is how I like your dick to oh, be Oh, that's good. That's, that's really good advice. I, I like, this is how advice. I like, yeah, like, I like so that this too. This is how I like your dick. Yeah, like, and great. I wash it and lather it. Maybe do some little tricks that's and like swirls really in it. nice yeah. And then tell him, advice. can you clean I like it that like too. this yeah. I've never had a bad tasting dick. I've had a bad Neither. tasting jizz. And I was like... Mm. Yeah. I be I be giving my nigga high five like I don't know what juices you're drinking. A high but five. I, I, <laughs> girl, kills me. I swear. Don't say it's mango. We had mango before. I don't know, but I be like extra credit. It tastes. It doesn't taste like anything. And I'm like, I'm proud of you because I like to swallow. I be like, yeah. Oh, can I swallow your nut? Like I asked to swallow it. Wow. And he just wants to know where it goes. Yeah, I, I, I like to know that it's not in my vagina and there's no way I can make a baby. Right. So don't come on me because then I feel like they can swim and get in my pussy still. Yeah, yeah, they, my yeah, thigh, yeah, my butt cheek. Oh, I feel like it's going to swim inside my happens. vagina. Okay. So I be like, just... Oh, yeah, right in your here. mouth. And his doesn't taste like anything. But I have had bad tasting. And I, you need to eat better. Like, you I told a guy. Well, it's a lot of, it's a lot of so red meat. It's a lot of asparagus. Right. I'll tell a nigga that. Wait, that's something that too. makes it smell? Or it makes it smell and taste so like. So it's a taste, right? So like all of that, I think it's salty. heavy. A so, a sodium, sodium iron. Bitch. Mm. Makes it Makes it taste bad. I mean, she I don't know. Tasting like Lowry. I feel like people should know when they don't <laughs> smell that. <laughs> Not the good kind either. <laughs> that's a lot of salt. But that's what it means. T- <laughs> that should be salty as fuck. <laughs> Lowry. Lowry seasoning. I know. Ew. Oh, the seasoning that I put on steak. Yeah. Stop be, it. That's what. Listen, that should be salty. That's, that's like a musty, like sweaty dick. <laughs> that yeah. Be so I am like overly what would your conscious because uh, you like, like it, bro. I asked someone recently. I'm like, oh my god, because we were walking all day, and I'm like, does it? Is it good? like I'm? I'm so self conscious about my smell, and I realize Same. a lot of people aren't that way with their bodies. Yeah. So I've sometimes tried to. Make sure that I talk about my cleanliness so that mm. it puts the little mm. bit of pressure. Oh, that's on. Yeah, good that's like too. Making it How do you aware. do that? What soap do you use? I use Dove. 
how does this go? Yeah, but I, what's I wrong with being honest with like, the guy? I, I think we should, like, should totally be, blank honest. be honest. But I think people are very sensitive. Well, obviously you had that was boat guy. Right, I was we a little. Have, we have our nicknames too. Boat guy, well, skateboard. We, yeah, no, we have nick, no, we got a lot of nicknames. No, also. I think, Good. I we think you could just tell them. Yeah, like in a nice See, way. The only reason I'm trying to figure out how to get around it is because I feel like if they write us, they can't say it. You know what I mean? Like, if you have to write in when you yeah, know we're just going to be like, they can't Callum. say it. You're, you're right. That, the well, shower well, thing, I really love. Yeah, I think that would I, be I would say, And I will say... But, um, but to, are you going to do it every time? Maybe that's not every time, thing, but that's what I'm saying. Honest. Give the advice to, like, this is how I like... I really like your dick. Oh, it tasted good this time. Like, say something like that. But also, good as a woman, yeah. if this is someone you like, if you continue fucking him, you may get to the point where maybe y'all aren't using condoms. And if you're telling me there's a smell there, you have to be concerned about the bacteria that could be going into your vagina oh, as geez. well. So, yeah. so, so would, this is smegma, by the way. Like, if you really, I mean, well, smegma, I believe, is when you see the... When you see the cottage cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with uncircumcised men, I mean, cleaning is more of a routine and a ritual. And I've been really fortunate to have been with men that are clean and yeah. know how their bodies work. But it sounds like he doesn't. And, well, and at the Atlanta show, that was the vanilla shit. Um, there was a man in London. He was 24 oh years old, I believe. He and he came out and he, he came out on national TV on BCC and literally came out and said he had had over 40 sexual partners and had never cleaned his dick because uh, he didn't know that he had to pull the skin back what? because it's sensitive. Oh, my God. And so he went, oh. on, he went on the British cable oh network so and was speaking with a sexologist about how he didn't know he had to pull his skin back when he cleaned it. So you have to realize, too, if maybe <sighs> you so were 40 raised. 40 women have never told him 40 that. women. That's he had like. 40 sexual partners and had never pulled the skin back because he said it was sensitive and he didn't know he had to I feel like a lot of, and I feel like they're over honestly. oh my god no, I feel yeah. like sometimes a lot of One girls are like scared to speak up like with the guy I told him that he wasn't good at sex I don't think it was because of me and because of our chemistry he just like was very selfish in bed and I think at 32 no one's ever told him that he wasn't good and a lot of women, and he was like shocked women cannot fake it because you know what yes. happens right. we're giving the false right. impression for right. the next woman no right. Tori really I think I helped, I helped the next woman you out. Did. You did. Yeah. I am sick you of that. She's strong. Outstanding citizen. Yeah. I'm sick of helping Civilian the next person. Civilian slut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No Nobody prize winner. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You, yes. now. you are an ally. No, I think because after Tori had this like really bad dumping, like blindsided dumping, you know, fuck face, whatever number, number he is. Right. Okay. Skateboard fuck face. Right. That she became, you know, like like more very tough and like honest and yeah. kind of like you know what I have nothing to lose I'm just gonna I say mean, it the way it is he was bad. well no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, had, she literally had nothing luckily to lose. you I being I had nothing the boat. no there was on the a boat. boat she didn't get on the boat but with, I was on the boat with you being liberal and us being in this day and age now where women are so powerful with their sexuality right. I think it's just more important than anything, not only to tell a man when he's doing something wrong, but to make sure that we are getting pleased when we're having this transfer of souls in fucking each other. And it's very important for us not to feel like we just need to make sure they come and that they finish and that, oh my God, did you like it? Was I good enough in bed for you? No, it needs to be reciprocated. And I think we need to tell men when maybe they're not performing the way we would like them to perform. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Ma'am, I need you to write that down how you yeah. said that though, because that was... That was quite amazing. So proud Sir, of my your daughter. your techniques right? were not up to my standards. <laughs> I, I, so proud yeah, of I, said, I said, what you were do- I said, first I said, I don't think what you're doing gets me off. And then I said, I just think your techniques aren't exactly. This was amazing. But I think it's really good that you did not like rush it or fake it because you wanted it to be over. No. Yeah, let's give a clap for Tori. Thank you. What a wow. great parenting that was. Should I send him this episode too? Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, I want to say I had so much fun with you guys. I, Andy and I really you guys don't hang out amazing. outside the podcast, no. but I feel like the one time we will as is at your you have a bar at your house, so I'm I, I got a bar. I'm I, in I the week. And I have a 23-year-old. Yeah. No, don't do this. That, that's okay. Okay. Oh, we got, I got we both. are in. I mean... He is very good looking. Let me see him. I'm the one who fucks white guys. Yeah, you gotta you gotta show her because so I he have goes a, to NYU. He's phone. like a skier. That's cute. Hold on. Um, Troy, get my phone. Yeah, I haven't done mama. one of those before. I'm gonna show. You. He is very good looking. So see, I I don't know what. I mean, and he could, but does he look like Jason Momoa? He looks like Paul Brad Walker. Pitt. Oh, Brad Pitt. okay, that's a white man he that really I can. Does he looks like Brad Pitt? Yeah, now, let he, me see he likes now. multiple. But you know, I don't like him young. What? I mean, that's young. It's 23. I, I, 23 is I can't. Anna, NYU. It's beautiful. He's got a, oh. I love it. He's the laziest thing I've ever seen. I'm sleeping with the youngest he people I've ever fucking, slept with. He is fucking, I don't even know why he goes to NYU. What he's is like he this, studying? He's like, nothing. <laughs> we we don't study nothing at NYU? No, no. A film. Oh. It's, it's not good. 
Oh, no, no, he wants to no. be a wrestler. <laughs> it's not. That's not he a good wants degree. To be he a wants to be a wrestler. Oh, a point. That degree is going to have us on oh, food please. stamps. Oh, uh, please. Yeah, yeah that, well, that's, that is true. <laughs> what are you going to do? Wait, I don't want to Teach point. the sixth grade? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you have any photos? All my friends with my degrees Instagram in liberal like arts, that. I feel like are but teachers. But you won't see. Well, while, Honestly, you're, while you're looking for the picture, ahead. let yeah. our listeners know where they can find you on social media Tori. and what your um, podcast is and where they can find your podcast. Yeah, so our podcast is called Got It From Our Mama. Wait, I just forgot. I fucked up it. <laughs> I said not R. Okay, so the podcast that, we, is called. It, we, we got it from your mama. Yeah, so. No, the podcast is called Got It From My Mama. Um, this okay. isn't a good picture of him. It's like a, a oh. shitty. He looks Amish here. He does look Amish? But he's not Amish. Amish but he he's said not. Amish with like a Amish. heavy Amish. Yeah, I'm Amish. He's really cute, though. Cute. Don't double tap it. That's her page. That's fine. <laughs> Who cares? Don't even tap. Double, he, yeah. double whatever you want. I, but I have better ones. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, um, so, so got, got it from our podcast. Did you just start this podcast? podcast? Um, it's been about a month and a half. So okay, yeah, so it's new. what days does your podcast come out on? And I'm very um, tired. So it's- Okay. <laughs> Just so letting you know. Okay, Mom, we're wrapping yeah. up. Okay, we're wrapping <laughs> up. It's not our podcast. Okay, okay like, wrap tired. <laughs> but yeah, you can find our podcast, Got It From My Mama, on iTunes or Spotify. We have an Instagram page, Got It From My Mama podcast, a Facebook group as well. Um, you can listen and follow me on my Instagram at Tori Piskin, T-O-R-I-P-I-S-K-I-N. <laughs> And my mom has an Instagram, obviously. What's your Instagram? I almost have 2,000 followers. Oh, my <laughs> Come God. On. Come She's on. A I, I tell my daughters, they're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's fucking good for an old lady. <laughs> it is. At it's Lulu, really good. At it Lulu is. Well, well, we're definitely going to follow you. Yes. And we want you on our podcast. podcast. So we're going to include in our description and there are links to them. So if you couldn't get that because uh, we've been talking so much, we're going to put it in there. You guys yes. need to make sure you listen to this podcast if you enjoyed today's episode. Also want to say we never really have Caucasian Yes. No, we, but I feel like y'all are like is, our fifth ones. And then wow. we're really? over episode 100. It is a wow. very big deal. We can name them deal. on one Thank hand, wow. the white people. Really? Yeah. I our show is so, all about... I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. No, I'm like, no, but in the better way that when she's like fucked by a guy. But like, this is a good way I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> I, no, so you guys are now going into the Hall of Fame. We only have 26 wow, white listeners. Really? So this is... 26 <laughs> We're taking a guess. I don't know. There's like 80,000 of them. I'm going to guess maybe now 35. <laughs> but you know, Wait, that's it's, hysterical. It's a big deal for us because yeah. our show is basically to destigmatize kinks and sex with black people. Mm-hmm. So it kind of feels like we do a disservice to bring someone who's white on and then talk about an experience that black people like. But I like, no, But at this, the conversation that we were able to have in the relationship between a mother and a daughter and how you guys are open about it, I think everyone. So fun. It, this but it doesn't count. Fun. You're Jewish. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't count. count. Jewish. It's yeah. all the same. It doesn't yeah, matter what no. race, mother, <laughs> daughter, it's all the same. Mother, daughter, when you, you when said you your it. mother's just like me. Oh, my God. I think you so. should bring your mothers in and so the she, three of us should run Listen, if yeah. you went to Studio 54, chances... I did. Oh, yep. God. Of course I did. Well, I'm going to FaceTime her. My I, mom was obsessed. At least me we too. At 54th and 8th. You kidding. On some sh- real shit. My mom says this to me. She comes to my apartment. She looks at me and she's like, do you know where we are? I was like, no. And she's like about to cry. And she's like... I've done a bump right here. <laughs> Outside of this club. I love it. I was like, Mom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, seriously, my mom is like all about DuPont twins she used to hang with. I oh. love it. No, me too. Oh, no, no, I think it. you know what it is too? We live through our daughters. Yes. Yeah. It, you're That's you're a piece now. of us. Right. And it and so, you know, a My mom is convinced I took all her ass. And I'm like, Mom, I ain't never had none. <laughs> my mom is convinced. But you do. Like if I call my mom at you, four AM and she's exhausted, I'm like, I gotta tell you what happened. Let me get my Drink. Yeah, I'm like the, she can't wait to hear it. I'm the same. I'm way. having a threesome next weekend, right? With oh the guy my and girl God. I'm dating. See, I'd be and fine I, with that. And of my this. mom is so excited for me, right? Because she knows I really like both of these people, and I'm excited for them to meet. Yeah, and like I'm. I telling- just saw this in Entourage because I watched an episode. I love Entourage, by the way. Oh, that was Netflix. Go ahead, keep going. Go ahead. Get a threesome. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, so you know, we talk about it for like 45 minutes, yeah. and I'm like, I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be so much fun, and I've had threesomes in the past, but never like this whole vacay for it and this trip. And my mom was like, you know what? From what you've told me, they just both seem so honest. The energy's going to click. <laughs> I love your mother. And I just really see it happening. Aww. I'm like, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I can't wait. I just, did we FaceTime you? I, She's like, no. <laughs> I can't wait to be all in bed together. Like, Mom, we have, I'm like, Dad, look at you guys. Fish my mother. <laughs> look at you on the beach. Did you just fuck? 
It's going to be great. Wow. I feel like your mom would be like that. She'd be very open. Oh, yeah. As long no. as they don't have a skate. As long as they have a car. You know what I mean? No, she's the skateboard thing, I'm like, over. She just wants to I'm over him. I had him in the house. He had his 52 skateboards. I'm done <laughs> Well, it's with New York. You don't even have a car. We need him to pay for our Ubers. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you yes, for, I so much for having me. for coming. Us. You're very brilliant. Too sharp woman. Thank I cannot wait yeah. to watch Strong woman. the rise of Got It From Her Mom. I think you guys are great. I think y'all are going to be you. back Thank together. You. Absolutely. Yeah. I would love to will see you guys come on? Yeah, will you come Absolutely. on? Yeah, will you come on? Absolutely. Come on. Because okay, okay, so, I, I love this. They're the two best people I've ever met. Yeah. Oh. They're like amazing. Oh. No, My I mean it. it. Like, she, she, has, she has freaking comedians. They're nuts. <laughs> no, and they're like... They're they, comedians. Yeah. We do comedy. Wait, hold on. You have very good a job. Tori. What? They're very smart, both of them. Thank you. You got some comedians that like... I mean, they're like at the depths of the earth meeting. I'm oh, just saying. Shit. I'm just saying. I, well, You've only got like 10 episodes. You know, so this exactly. is really wild. Imagine wide. who I met. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I want to shout out to all of our patrons who support us. Because of you guys, we are able to be on tour. And as you know, we are going to leave you guys with a five-second clip from our bonus episodes. If you have caught up to all 100-plus of our episodes at this point and you just can't get enough of us, become a patron. For only $5 a month, you guys can get three bonus episodes a month. That's right. Y'all motherfucking hosts can listen to us seven times a month. That's a lot. But It's a whole lot. And so many people you know, have been saying they've been liking the Patreon episodes more. Yeah, they really like them. So we're giving y'all some good in-depth... Listen, if y'all want to hear a story about the D-League nigga, G-League, whatever it is called oh now, my God, I said Mandy. it on there. She be talking about some pussy-ass hoe shit. And it's just really good shit. So become a patron. We only give out merch through to our patrons as well. We do not charge for merch. We only give merch to the top-tier patrons. So Tell them. So that's what we do. I'm excited. See you guys in motherfucking shit. We got LA and Toronto coming up. So looking forward to seeing y'all there. And bye. This has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. <laughs> bye.